After I finished my combat medic training, I started rotations in Brook Army Medical Center where I followed the neurosurgery team. Uh, so my mentor was a neurosurgeon. So after completing my training in San Antonio, I applied to medical school in the University of Kansas Medical Center and I got accepted. So that's how I ended up becoming a, an MD. There was a gap year that I decided to take to pursue something called research. So I'm doing a PhD research fellowship at the University of Oxford in England. So it's a unique opportunity, you know, uh, because I was very interested in spinal injury and just soldiers who've been amputated, suffering from phantom limb pain. So I, I looked for colleges who were doing research in phantom limb pain and Oxford was one of them. So I applied and for two years running and I finally got accepted. And yeah, it was quite exciting. So I started uh, in 2021 uh, with the Oxford Functional Neurosurgery Group where we're doing deep brain stimulation for neuropathic pain, especially after suffering from strokes or amputations. Yes, it's not a smooth ride. The PhD is one of the most difficult uh, courses one can do. It's very torturous and, and it's quite hard. But if you just remember, you know, the resilience, you know, you're gonna be knocked down, but you've gotta get up. Mission has to continue. Again, testament to army training. You know, I don't, I don't know if I would be where I am today if I wasn't a soldier.